good morning everyone. Peter Rosa here, Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel. Uh, and we're here continuing the series with Florrie Smith in relation to uh, the John Oxley uh, series. Um, Laurie, and as I was sort of prepared for this, I was just wondering on what page of the How Do I Run an Expo manual um, did you get the, uh, the guidelines in relation to uh, activating the site uh, with floral arrangements? Well, really, it, it dates back to my first conversation with Sir Lou uh, when he said to me uh, if I was willing to be appointed to be the Landscape Architect for World Expo 88, would I be able to make that the greenest exposition ever and to have it an amazing place botanically from day one to the final day and every day in between. So I guess that was quite a brief to respond to. And um, it was really the basis of the whole of the landscape philosophy for World Expo 88. You know, sort of starting at 1983, um, the architects I gather in the main gave you the layout and you then in turn had to retrofit uh, the scenes to mount these amazing floral displays that you were responsible for. And I'm assuming that the Australian mural was the largest one. And as a secondary point, then that the entrances were the second most important because they addressed the feel of the day as people walked in, but it was the um, Australian mural that really set the tone and allowed you to um, invigorate the site uh, on a seasonal basis? No, the landscape was not the icing on the cake. It was not an afterthought because I was involved, it was a complete team effort with the architects and, uh, and myself and, 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 and a few other people who created the site planning for the site. So it wasn't the fact that the architects went away and did a design for the, the, the expo site. And then they said to me, okay, you know, uh, take out your colored brushes and, and, and enliven it. No, it was very much an integrated thing. So that uh, the landscape elements, the different precincts that we designed for expo, um, you know, like the murals, like the uh, Pacific Lagoon and all of the other very special elements there were an integral part of the site planning. And um, I think, and that is why the significance and the quality of World Expo 88 uh, is still talked about today, 30 years later, because it is a completely integrated uh, event in all sorts of aspects. And you've got all of John Truscott's work and everything, else, but all of us work together very, very tightly and very harmoniously to create this wonderful, unique experience from all of the entries and right through the whole of the site. The thought, and I like to think that what we did here at World Expo 88 was something that was a world class because that's what Salou wanted. And also it just showed what you can do if the complete planning team of all professions get together constantly and produce a wonderful environment. And that's the important thing, I think. That blank sheet of paper, um, for argument's sake, let's take the Australian mural uh, as, a, as a prime case to talk to. So that's the back side uh, of the, uh, entertain the amphitheatre. Uh, and normally- the river that stage. Been, yeah, hmm. the river stage. And normally that would have been considered um, a you know, the, the banker that would be considered a slightly dead space. But I mean, you, you inactivated that and empowered it amazingly. That's true, Peter. And that's all part of this whole process. As we worked it up and we, as we had to uh, create landform throughout the site, because it was flat, remember, it was filled above flood level, so it was flat. But we then had to create an amphitheatre. And then creating the landform of that amphitheatre, we had an old retaining wall. You could front it with, with um, you know, coffee shops or things like that, but no, because of the, the uh, requirement that Salus to make it the greenest exposition ever, every single bank uh, and, and uh, slope that we had throughout the site was treated in that fashion, the way the Aussie mural was treated. So that um, that meant that every single day of the expo, 
uh, there was a new experience because these murals were changed regularly. And uh, so that, that every time you went to Expo, um, the floral parts of it were a new and engaging component to take your, your attention.